Hello, in this video I'll show you how to solve a pyramid Rubik's Cube. So the first thing you should do is look around your cube and we have to talk about the pieces on the pyramid Rubik's Cube. You'll notice that um, it's obviously in a triangle shape, different than a 3x3 three three or 2x2. Two two. And so that makes the, but the pieces on this are all the same. Uh, there are corner pieces, edge pieces, however there are no center pieces. And that means that we don't know where every side is going to be until we actually solve it. And the same is for a 2x2. Two two. Okay, um, mix your cube up and we can get solving. Now that you've mixed up your pyramid Rubik's Cube, um, you may have noticed a few things. When mixing the cube up, you'll probably have noticed that it doesn't move the same way a 3x3 three three does. As in, it moves like downward and the top piece goes across and the corner pieces. So there are a bunch of different movements on this cube. Um, but another thing we need to take into notice is making sure you mixed up this cube enough. And that might sound like kind of like a weird thing to think about, but um, um, for this cube, sometimes like if it's a cube that has like a hard time like mixing it up, sometimes you might not mix all the pieces up. So make sure like the corner pieces, like you can move the corner pieces and kind of move it all around um, to make sure it's like really mixed up. All right, once you've done that, we can get into solving. So the first thing you do is you want to match up these pieces. So like this piece and the corner piece. So how you do that is you simply, I see that this is yellow, this is blue, so I just turn it until they match. All right, the red and there we go. All right, now my next goal is to basically get um, this yellow all the way around here. Okay, so like yellow, yellow. This is red. So I'm going to have to find my yellow and ah, it is here. So I'm just gonna bring it around until it's here. So you can see what I did now. It's like, I would consider these all corner pieces. This is yellow corner piece, corner piece, corner piece. And you see how now it's all, um, these are all, the corners are all yellow. And if you had a little trouble doing that, like maybe it's like here and you had to move it here, kind of mess around with it a little bit, like move pieces around until you can get it so like this. Okay, so now that you have the yellow side, the yellow corners, it's time to get the edge pieces of the yellow. So what we need to do is we need to look around the cube for the edge pieces. And we'll see that we found one here. It's yellow and blue. So I'm going to move it, and it needs to go right here. So I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this up, move this over, and down. So I'll undo that. Um, I brought this up, over, and then down. Okay? And now I kind of keep doing that. This piece needs to go here because when like that moves. And when you're doing this, make sure you're familiar with a 3x3 three three because this will really help you. So I swing this over, down, and one last yellow piece. There it is. Just bring it around. And... All right, there we go. I've solved the yellow side, and hopefully you have too. Okay, now we are on to the last layer. So what you want to do is um, you want to look at the pieces that are the edge pieces that are missing. And here I have two missing on each side. So they basically need to be like flipped. And to do that, if you have this, um, you will uh, do this algorithm. I will then show you all the different scenarios. There are three different scenarios you might be in. If you have this scenario, watch. If you do not have this scenario, wait to the end of the video. Okay, so if you have this scenario, do this. And then do it again. All right, and there we go. You have solved the pyramid Rubik's cube. And now I will be moving on to the other scenario. And if the other scenario did not um, was not the scenario you had, I'm going to show you what happens if you had this scenario, which is like two different colors here and one different one here. Okay, so. Watch carefully to what I do, because this is um, quite a long algorithm. Okay, and as you can see, I've solved the Rubik's Cube. Um, from that algorithm, you might have gone to the other algorithm, which I already showed you, which uh, once you practice it, it gets pretty easy to remember. And hopefully you've solved the Pyramid Rubik's Cube. Okay. Thank you for watching and hope you have solved the pyramid Rubik's Cube and see you next time. Bye.